There are disturbing changes underway in today's school systems. There are disturbing changes underway in today's school systems. There are disturbing changes underway in today's school systems. There are disturbing changes underway in today's school systems. There are disturbing changes underway in today's school systems. Funding is frequently tied to scores achieved on standardized tests, which primarily evaluate rote memory. Funding is frequently tied to scores achieved on standardized tests, which primarily evaluate rote memory. Funding is frequently tied to scores achieved on standardized tests, which primarily evaluate rote memory. Funding is frequently tied to scores achieved on standardized tests, which primarily evaluate rote memory. Funding is frequently tied to scores achieved on standardized tests, which primarily evaluate rote memory. Teaching two tests like these inevitably focuses resources and curriculum on the lower scoring students. Teaching two tests like these inevitably focuses resources and curriculum on the lower scoring students. Teaching two tests like these inevitably focuses resources and curriculum on the lower scoring students. Teaching two tests like these inevitably focuses resources and curriculum on the lower scoring students. Teaching two tests like these inevitably focuses resources and curriculum on the lower scoring students. The pressure to bring up test scores for these struggling students limits time for the kinds of individualized learning that challenges all students to reach their highest potential. And teachers have less opportunity to encourage creative thinking and incorporate hands-on activities. The pressure to bring up test scores for these struggling students limits time for the kinds of individualized learning that challenges all students to reach their highest potential. And teachers have less opportunity to encourage creative thinking and incorporate hands-on activities. The pressure to bring up test scores for these struggling students limits time for the kinds of individualized learning that challenges all students to reach their highest potential. And teachers have less opportunity to encourage creative thinking and incorporate hands-on activities. The pressure to bring up test scores for these struggling students limits time for the kinds of individualized learning that challenges all students to reach their highest potential. And teachers have less opportunity to encourage creative thinking and incorporate hands-on activities. The pressure to bring up test scores for these struggling students limits time for the kinds of individualized learning that challenges all students to reach their highest potential. And teachers have less opportunity to encourage creative thinking and incorporate hands-on activities. When education is not enriched by exploration, discovery, problem-solving, and creative thinking, students are not truly engaged in their own learning. When education is not enriched by exploration, discovery, problem-solving, and creative thinking, students are not truly engaged in their own learning. When education is not enriched by exploration, discovery, problem-solving, and creative thinking, students are not truly engaged in their own learning. When education is not enriched by exploration, discovery, problem-solving, and creative thinking, students are not truly engaged in their own learning. When education is not enriched by exploration, discovery, problem-solving, and creative thinking, students are not truly engaged in their own learning. Because teachers are required to emphasize uninspiring workbooks and drills, more and more students are developing negative feelings about mathematics, science, history, grammar, and writing. Because teachers are required to emphasize uninspiring workbooks and drills, more and more students are developing negative feelings about mathematics, science, history, grammar, and writing. Because teachers are required to emphasize uninspiring workbooks and drills, more and more students are developing negative feelings about mathematics, science, history, grammar, and writing. Because teachers are required to emphasize uninspiring workbooks and drills, more and more students are developing negative feelings about mathematics, science, history, grammar, and writing. Because teachers are required to emphasize uninspiring workbooks and drills, more and more students are developing negative feelings about mathematics, science, history, grammar, and writing. Opportunities to authentically learn and retain knowledge are being replaced by instruction that teaches to the tests. Opportunities to authentically learn and retain knowledge are being replaced by instruction that teaches to the tests. Opportunities to authentically learn and retain knowledge are being replaced by instruction that teaches to the tests. Opportunities to authentically learn and retain knowledge are being replaced by instruction that teaches to the tests. Opportunities to authentically learn and retain knowledge are being replaced by instruction that teaches to the tests. For many years it was indeed widely believed that the adult brain was essentially set, 
with all the neurons and major connections we'd need. For many years it was indeed widely believed that the adult brain was essentially set, with all the neurons and major connections we'd need. For many years it was indeed widely believed that the adult brain was essentially set, with all the neurons and major connections we'd need. For many years it was indeed widely believed that the adult brain was essentially set, with all the neurons and major connections we'd need. For many years it was indeed widely believed that the adult brain was essentially set, with all the neurons and major connections we'd need. Sure we learn new things and update our understanding of things all the time, meaning new connections are regularly being formed and turned over in networks governing learning and memory. Sure we learn new things and update our understanding of things all the time, meaning new connections are regularly being formed and turned over in networks governing learning and memory. Sure we learn new things and update our understanding of things all the time, meaning new connections are regularly being formed and turned over in networks governing learning and memory. Sure we learn new things and update our understanding of things all the time, meaning new connections are regularly being formed and turned over in networks governing learning and memory. Sure we learn new things and update our understanding of things all the time, meaning new connections are regularly being formed and turned over in networks governing learning and memory. But in terms of overall physical structure and major connections, the stuff that makes us what we are, the adult brain was long thought to be done. But in terms of overall physical structure and major connections, the stuff that makes us what we are, the adult brain was long thought to be done. But in terms of overall physical structure and major connections, the stuff that makes us what we are, the adult brain was long thought to be done. But in terms of overall physical structure and major connections, the stuff that makes us what we are, the adult brain was long thought to be done. But in terms of overall physical structure and major connections, the stuff that makes us what we are, the adult brain was long thought to be done. However, in recent years there's been a steady stream of evidence revealing that the adult brain can change and adapt, even create new neurons, and experiences can still reshape the brain, even as we head into our twilight years. However, in recent years there's been a steady stream of evidence revealing that the adult brain can change and adapt, even create new neurons, and experiences can still reshape the brain, even as we head into our twilight years. However, in recent years there's been a steady stream of evidence revealing that the adult brain can change and adapt, even create new neurons, and experiences can still reshape the brain, even as we head into our twilight years. However, in recent years there's been a steady stream of evidence revealing that the adult brain can change and adapt, even create new neurons, and experiences can still reshape the brain, even as we head into our twilight years. However, in recent years there's been a steady stream of evidence revealing that the adult brain can change and adapt, even create new neurons, and experiences can still reshape the brain, even as we head into our twilight years. Consider the taxi driver study, where constant driving and navigation of chaotic London streets leads to increased hippocampus size, revealing the adult brain structure is somewhat malleable. Consider the taxi driver study, where constant driving and navigation of chaotic London streets leads to increased hippocampus size, revealing the adult brain structure is somewhat malleable. Consider the taxi driver study, where constant driving and navigation of chaotic London streets leads to increased hippocampus size, revealing the adult brain structure is somewhat malleable. Consider the taxi driver study, where constant driving and navigation of chaotic London streets leads to increased hippocampus size, revealing the adult brain structure is somewhat malleable. Consider the taxi driver study, where constant driving and navigation of chaotic London streets leads to increased hippocampus size, revealing the adult brain structure is somewhat malleable. Often, ideological principles crystallize in laws, rules and institutions that threaten to block deals. Often, ideological principles crystallize in laws, rules and institutions that threaten to block deals. Often, ideological principles crystallize in laws, rules and institutions that threaten to block deals. Often, ideological principles crystallize in laws, rules and institutions that threaten to block deals. Often, ideological principles crystallize in laws, rules and institutions that threaten to block deals. Nationalism requires that all resources belong to the state and that no one else may own them. Nationalism requires that all resources belong to the state and that no one else may own them. Nationalism requires that all resources belong to the state and that no one else may own them. Nationalism requires that all resources belong to the state and that no one else may own them. 
nationalism requires that all resources belong to the state and that no one else may own them. Islamic fundamentalism prohibits interest payments on loans. 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 Egyptian socialism demands that workers participate both in the management and the profits of an enterprise. Egyptian socialism demands that workers participate both in the management and the profits of an enterprise. Egyptian socialism demands that workers participate both in the management and the profits of an enterprise. Egyptian socialism demands that workers participate both in the management and the profits of an enterprise. Egyptian socialism demands that workers participate both in the management and the profits of an enterprise. Each of these principles can be an obstacle to deal making in particular cases. Each of these principles can be an obstacle to deal making in particular cases. Each of these principles can be an obstacle to deal making in particular cases. Each of these principles can be an obstacle to deal making in particular cases. Each of these principles can be an obstacle to deal making in particular cases. Yet, with some creativity, it is possible to structure a deal in such a way that the ideological principle is respected, but business goes forward. Yet, with some creativity, it is possible to structure a deal in such a way that the ideological principle is respected, but business goes forward. Yet, with some creativity, it is possible to structure a deal in such a way that the ideological principle is respected, but business goes forward. Yet, with some creativity, it is possible to structure a deal in such a way that the ideological principle is respected, but business goes forward. Yet, with some creativity, it is possible to structure a deal in such a way that the ideological principle is respected, but business goes forward. For example, worker participation in management need not mean a seat on the company's board of directors, but simply an advisory committee that meets regularly with an officer of the company. For example, worker participation in management need not mean a seat on the company's board of directors, but simply an advisory committee that meets regularly with an officer of the company. For example, Worker participation in management need not mean a seat on the company's board of directors, but simply an advisory committee that meets regularly with an officer of the company. For example, worker participation in management need not mean a seat on the company's board of directors, but simply an advisory committee that meets regularly with an officer of the company. For example, worker participation in management need not mean a seat on the company's board of directors, but simply an advisory committee that meets regularly with an officer of the company. And a petroleum development contract could be written in such a way that the ownership of oil is transferred, not when the oil is in the ground, but at the point that it leaves the flange of the well. And a petroleum development contract could be written in such a way that the ownership of oil is transferred, not when the oil is in the ground, but at the point that it leaves the flange of the well. And a petroleum development contract could be written in such a way that the ownership of oil is transferred, not when the oil is in the ground, but at the point that it leaves the flange of the well. And a petroleum development contract could be written in such a way that the ownership of oil is transferred, not when the oil is in the ground, but at the point that it leaves the flange of the well. And a petroleum development contract could be written in such a way that the ownership of oil is transferred, not when the oil is in the ground, but at the point that it leaves the flange of the well. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. 
scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem.